We all fall down. The question is, who gets back up? Your name will forever be in history. When you find out what you want, what you can be, it's a path less taken, not the beaten path that everyone else takes. My dad coached me in third grade and he uh he said he was heartbroken to find out I couldn't tackle in, uh, in third grade, so he said, put me a quarterback. Yeah, they're both really influential to me. They were both pretty good players back in their day and both came here to play. Different circumstances, my dad started as a walk-on and earned a scholarship, and my Uncle Jay was actually pretty highly recruited by the Big Ten as well, but I guess he just wanted to stay home and play for Ball State, so he did that. And, was pretty successful here for four years, so they're, they're both really influential towards me. Ryan and I have been good friends with each other for a very long time, since kindergarten age probably. We've been playing football and all kinds of sports together for a long time, and our friendship has just kind of grown throughout the sports. He's been one of my closest friends for a while now, and you know, playing sports together is something that we really bonded with, so it, yeah, it's really, it's really cool. This is something that, that was something that we wanted for a very long time, and to be a small part of history in Yorktown was kind of cool for our class. Yorktown doesn't typically have a tradition of winning football. Sectional championship that we won our senior year. I told him we should run a fake reverse on the opening kickoff, and we did, and it worked. So I, I ended up running the opening kickoff back, and Riley came sprinting off the sideline down to the end zone to celebrate with me. I think we ended up, like our team got a flag on that play for having celebrating on the field. Not, not just me, but as our sideline warning or whatever. Well, here he is, he comes in, he's had an incredibly successful high school career, both in football and in basketball, and you wonder how coachable and how quick of a learner he might be, and he's been terrific in both of those aspects. I don't know what my expectations were necessarily. I knew what I wanted, and I wanted to play, but I didn't know exactly how or if or when it would happen. I just, you know, my plan was just to come in and work hard and see where that would take me. One battle at a time. One play at a time, one battle at a time. First and ten, zero, zero. All right? Let, let, let me worry about the scoreboard. You got it? All right, let's go. Bring it up. Earn it. Jack Milas got the start at quarterback, but then Riley Neal came in for the final two drives of the first half to lead the offense. the shotgun snap, drops to his own 45 to pass, bombs one long down the far side of the field. Again, elusiveness from Riley Neal escaping the pocket. Fifty-six twenty-three, the final score here at Kyle Field. Ball State falls to one and one on the season.
been a lot. All, all the guys here have been really accepting. Even before any of them knew I was starting, I mean, I, on my official visit when I came here or just the first day, you know, guys, hey, come over and hang out with us tonight. So, I mean, everyone here has been really, really accepting, really nice to everyone, not just me, just the freshman class in general. The amount that we've been able to throw at him uh, still so early in his career has been impressive and how even keeled he is and how he takes criticism well and how he tries to learn from his mistakes every day in practice. Uh, he's really been a pleasure to work with. You know what I'm saying? Same, that's the same thing you do to Jordan. He's getting beat up and he's cutting one. There's no one on him. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush out. Just that friendship to me is really kind of special and just to see him succeed on the football field and kind of be a part of it is even better. The Cardinals coming to today's homecoming against the Toledo Rockets. about every single play. That's what I want you to be about. Your best on every single play. Your eyes in the right spot. Your alignment perfect. Okay? Focus, lock in, playing with the other 10 guys in cohesion, one play at a time. You understand? One play at a time. All right, let's go get this thing done. Let's go. Turn it. Three-step drop after the snap. Cox's arm pops him long down the far sideline. It's intercepted by the Cardinals, Tyree Holder. Phil Beely leaves it hanging inside the numbers on the fade route, and Tyree Holder makes an awesome play on the air. Second down and 16, Ely back to pass. Throwing over the middle, and intercepted once again by the Cardinals. Solomon makes a great play on the football out of the air for the second turnover for Ball State here early on. Scoreless ball game between Ball State and Toledo. Chest high snap. Runs it himself to his right. Taken down, he loses the football, and Toledo's there to jump on it and recover. Ball security, number one concern always for a ball carrier. Got to keep it high and tight. Ely takes the chest high snap. Dumps it right over the middle. Two handed catch made, streaking middle of the end zone. Touchdown for Toledo. Snap to him, turns left right through the line and into the end zone for a Toledo touchdown. Ely backpedals, gunning one long. Over the shoulder for Russell for a two-handed catch for a Toledo touchdown. Coverage was not bad from Darius Conaway. He just gives up a lot of height. Eight seconds to go until halftime. Rolls it right, throws, caught Lacanari at the 20, turns it on the right, hash mark 15, tackled by Norris with one second to go. Morgan Hagee to try and put some points on before halftime. All right, man, really simple. All right, really, really simple. All right, we got a block, we got a tackle, we got to take care of the football. All right, we got to fit stuff up right. Okay? We gotta move the ball and get some points on the board here. We gotta get the ball back. Alright? This is a simple football. Alright? I want you to go out there like it's 0 0 and just play good football. We got plenty of time to get ourselves back into this thing. Alright? Let's go. Get it in here. Oh, oh, oh. Earn it. Hey. Ball's coming out on time here, and they're early going for Riley Neal in the second half. Completely different rhythm so far for this Ball State team, a rhythm they did not have in the first half. For through three quarters, and Toledo owns a 21-point lead, 24-3.
snap meal, fakes the give, cocks his arm, lofted pass, over the middle, in strike caught by Williams, angling at the 15 to the 10, and he finds the end zone and puts the Cardinals back with it, two scores. Third down and goal to go. Neal back to pass under some pressure. Throws over the middle. It's caught by Williams and leads it across the goal line for a Cardinals touchdown. Pass interference. Offense number 40. Repeat third down. Neal and shotgun. Snap. He drops back to pass. And a one-handed snag that's made by Maybon, but his feet was out of bounds. Aggie 35 yard try, snap good, spot down, right foot a kick on the way, and it's deflected off the line, and no good, it's blocked. Toledo walks out onto the field, players exchanging high fives and handshakes. The final score from Schumann Stadium on homecoming 2015, Toledo 24, Ball State 10. We have worked really hard as a staff since we arrived at building relationships with the high school coaches in the state of Indiana and giving them all access to our program. We've tried to be in each of those schools every year and uh, been very visible at state clinics and things of that nature. And of course that all starts in Indianapolis. What makes Warren Central really good is our our depth and the, the way we play football. It's always like a dog mentality. Every day you have to prove yourself. At practice, we practice to give it all, give it your all, we go all out. And during the games, there's, there's no fear. I've, I've never went into a game, no matter who we were playing, thinking that we had any chance of losing. When I first got to Warren, so my freshman year, uh, just playing on the freshman team, uh, before the season started, I was third string. Coming out my junior year, I played like some snaps. I really had like a couple people in front of me, so I really, like I really got to touch the field. Once I got to the, the JV varsity level, um, it was it was competition every day. You had to prove yourself. Once that Friday night lights hit, it was. Just I had to protect the field. This is what I grew up watching. Like this, this is me. Like I'm one central football. It's just a one. The, that football field is, is a part of me. Me and Josh play next to each other. Uh, we're in the same class, and um, we started next to each other. He he helped me out a lot, and I I like to think I helped him out a, a few times with a few plays. Uh, great player, high energy, shows a lot of effort, and he made the game easy for me. Great learning from them. It's just just to compete from a. Uh, Darnell just working hard, no matter what side you are, from pose, just being a dog on the field. Graves, hard. standing under center. This is a sneak. Quarterback sneak, touchdown. And the Warren Central Warriors are the 2009 5A football champions. My sophomore year, we won the state championship. No place to go. Ramped no place to go. Drop. Here. Shakir Bell gonna go to the house. Ten oh, they got coming him. And they wrapped him up and dropped him. I remember going out there. My, my first play was at the beginning of the, the second quarter. There was just thousands and thousands of people there. Oh, we're, just, we're screaming, we're going crazy. It's, it's almost like no words to explain. It was such a long season. This is the time that that we've been waiting for. We had a great class of, of young guys uh, going into my junior year. Uh, a lot of D1 guys, I, I believe it was 15 Division One football players in my class. I was just thinking we've, we've got this tradition going again of winning state. Now it's, now it's our turn to be the, the starters to get this tradition going. Cincinnati is uh, obviously their, their great football program. They went, they were 10 and three, like three straight years. Before then, they went to the Sugar Bowl, went to the Orange Bowl. It was right close to home. It's only like 
120 miles away from where my parents can come to my games. And they told me I had the possibility of being a true freshman, which I, which I did. So anybody that goes in as a freshman uh, wants to play right away. At, at one point in time in the middle of the season, they, they put me on scout team. From being a true freshman to having a, the biggest game in my bowl game as a true freshman, to um, being being named the starter, and then to, to turn around and then a coach puts you on scout team, and the whole team knows how how good you are and what you've done in the past. I, I think that was my lowest point. My dad helped me through it the whole way. He stayed in prayer for me every day. We talked we talked every day about it to try to keep my head straight, to try to make sure I wasn't getting down or depressed, or just make sure I. I keep my faith in and remain confident about everything is knowing that all this happens for a reason and there was going to be a good to come out of this somehow. Josh was a guy that we knew about in high school. Of course, he ended up at Cincinnati, which was a good opportunity for him at that time. But when uh, the staff changed there and, and some philosophies changed uh, and he ended up looking uh, for, for a new home, the relationships that we had built with him and with everybody else associated with that program made Ball State a natural fit for him. As soon as I got my release papers from Cincinnati, Darnell Smith called me immediately trying to, trying to get me there, talking about how, how good it would be and like how they had an open spot and how big of an opportunity it would be for us to play against each other again. And then uh, Anthony Wimbush, he played behind me, so he was kind of like a younger brother to me at, at Warren, so he would just persuade me like, man, I need you here, like, it'll be fun, like, you can help me out, we can, you know, you can help me out on the field and stuff like that. So that was a giant reason why I decided to transfer. Seeing him in preseason, uh, how hard he plays in practice, and, and what a good motor that he has. You just had a really good feeling that once the season arrived, that uh, that would translate to success in games. Say we all three be on the field, like in a package, I'll look like to like my side and like you see that I'm like, dang, you really went to the same high school and now you're back here playing. All right, get lined up now. Here we go. I got rocket. I got rip in flash. All right, rocket, rip and flash, short cowboy. Rocket, rip and flash, short cowboy. Joey has a great energy level. He was a quarterback. And he played the position his entire life. He's coached the position now for many years. Here, here, here. Bounce the throw. Pass. Good. Right? Your body's off balance. Take yourself back to balance. Yeah, I think Coach Lynch is a real down-to-earth guy. He played here not too long ago, so he knows what it's like to be in our shoes. Transfer your weight and change your shoulders, right? Because this is the one, you know, when you, we go and you know watch the film and this leg's always straight, this is the one that you rock, you're going to feel yourself being, coming with a slight bent knee, you know what I'm saying, rolling off your front foot. But you can't, you can't have a straight left leg. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Roll off it, good. So yeah, you kind of, you do it, you kind of lock yourself out, roll right off of it. I'm working a lot of footwork stuff, uh, just moving your feet faster and then different progressions, reading defenses. All right, X trail. Here you go. He kind of knows when to when to push you, when to let off a little bit. You know, just kind of what a player needs, I think. I make a play. Good, good, good. All right, hitch and stick to the field. All right, get the ball out of your hand. Get it out. Good. All right, bend that front left leg, man. Right. Transfer your weight. Eyes strong. Good. Nice. Good. And he's always coaching. He's always providing feedback. You know what I'm saying? But you know, when, hey, this is the indicator of what? Ball's out. Ball's out. All right, here we go. Stick it to find the route, Keith. You see his passion show up on the practice field. You see his passion show up in the meeting room. And he's got a great feel for how to handle those guys.
want you to think about the guys in this room, the great guys in this room, okay? And how hard we all work for these kind of opportunities 365 days a year. It's about the guys in this room laying it on the line for each other for the next three and a half hours, you got me? All right. I know how good this group can be. I believe in how good this group can be. I want to see your best football today. All right? Your best football today. Down after down after down. Let it out of yourself. You got me? Lay it up like going to pack these guys. Let's go. All right, here we go. Bring it up. It's fourth and long, and UMass has to punt away their opening drive. Good coverage all across the board from all eight defensive backs for Ball State. Five-step drop, steps up into the pocket, delivers a strike near side, two-handed catch at the 31-yard line. Back to pass at his own 35. Throwing right, catching his Mabon at the 45. Coming near side, outside of the... Pass mark to the 40. Stiff arms a man at the 35-30, and he's thrown out of bounds. Snap good spot downside, winding kick on the way, and it splits the neon yellow uprights. The Cardinals are the first to strike here on Halloween. Yeah, much better tempo here for UMass. They slowed it down in their first drive, but They've, uh, they've worn down this Ball State defense here on this drive. Green to Williams, bouncing back inside of the 50 to the 45 and stiff arming a man to the 44. Throwing for the five yard line on a catch made by Kevon Maybon in between the hash marks to the four. Snap to Neil, hands squirts through the line for a touchdown. Gaping hole. Should have drove my suburban through that hole, Tyler. Just one man to beat to the 40. On the numbers to the 30, outside of the 20, and stiff arm the man out of bounds at the 15-yard line. They rush five. He lost a pass for Jordan Williams. Backfield for Fronapple. Snap throwing in zone. Intercepted at the goal line by Ben Engel. He comes out of the red end zone and slides down at the two. Everybody chipped in today. Everybody. All right? Everybody chipped in. I want three for the D, though. Great job, D. Great job. Ian Anderson stepped in today.
Darnell, I'm going to leave you guys in here for a minute with everybody afterwards, right? But it's Monday right now, all right? So we got to get back to work and crank it up tomorrow. Okay, we got a big one coming up Thursday night. Earn it. Yeah.